Badger Alloys is a family business. My father and his two partners bought Badger Brass and Aluminum in 1966. They changed it to Badger Alloys because they wanted to change the focus from a green sand brass and aluminum foundry and get into stainless and other types of materials. We're a sand foundry and we make castings traditionally for the pump and valve industries. What we typically do is we make engineered product in over a couple hundred different types of material. So it's very specific for projects and we have the ability to produce the tooling, make the casting, do the machining. Whatever customer may need, we have the abilities in-house to do all of those things. You know, I took over in 1997 and I run the business significantly different than my father did. It was good to have that somebody you could bounce ideas off of, or concepts, or who really understood and appreciated the business. But at the end of the day, it was like, it's your business, you do what you want. I mean, that was the greatest situation I could ever ask for, that you had a really good mentor who understood the business, but yet gave you the freedom and flexibility to do it your way. I mean, everything that we deal with has changed over the last 20 years significantly. Some of the, the challenges that, that we face that have really made our company better, 1997, five months after I take over, we had a major fire. It was in one of our pattern storage facilities and it was about a three year struggle to get through that. Compounding, if you look at about in the year 2000 is when offshoring really started to come into vogue and into play. And we deal with a lot of Fortune 500 type companies and I mean, it was amazing the exodus that was going offshore. I think one of the things that is always important from an accounting standpoint, it's looking at different opportunities as the tax laws continue to change, looking at R&D tax credits, looking at LIFO, FIFO, looking at the different accelerated depreciation type of situations looking at structure of things and, and looking at opportunities to take advantage of tax opportunities that are out there. I'm not an accountant, that's what I rely upon them for. And, and we've been very fortunate that they do bring fresh ideas and perspective and, and giving us different ways of looking at things that we don't always see maybe internally. If I look at some of the advantages that Sikich has done for us, is the ability to helping us stay competitive in an incredibly competitive global market. I mean, we're no longer in a U.S. market. We're competing with offshore all the time, and, and we have different regulatory issues, different labor structure. And the real advantage of a good firm is ensuring that you're getting every opportunity and taking advantage of those opportunities to help retain margin and make your business stronger and better, because it is very difficult out there today. We're better off today with them than I feel we would have been without them because there has been a very streamlined approach in that the consistency of the people that we work with that understand our culture and our, what our real goals and objectives are. And having a resource out there that understands your business is really important. To have somebody in your corner who is giving you some insight, some perspective, that's meaningful. You know, it's not boilerplate. They're not just an outside resource. They understand who and what we are. And that's really important to me.